I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. And this is going to be a short one and it's just for the fun of it because I was using this Crossman 1077 in another video. I was running out of uh, CO2. I mean really running out of CO2. There's very very little left in this and it's going to be difficult. I've got some bottles left over from another video that I did with the Ruger uh, 1022, the Umarex Ruger 1022, and I've got them set up up here, and there's only, I think, a couple left on the thing, and th this is really low on CO2. Well, I'm actually going to try a 50-yard shot to try to hit at least one of those bottles and get, I've got 10 rounds in here, whether they'll fire or not, I don't know. We'll find out, but let's shoot at it, and like I said, it's going to be a short one. It hit the bottle. I got one bottle with it, and I don't even know if there's if I can get this out here. Uh, yeah, there's some. There's about three pellets left in it, as you can see. Uh, there's no sense even trying to fire those because it was just pretty much going, Phew, and I'd get one of them lodged up here in the barrel, and there may be one up in there. As far as I know, I'll run my cleaning rod down through it. But anyway, just for the fun of it, we fired this Crossman 1077, and you know, folks, I don't think that did all that bad. Uh, how was I aiming to hit that bottle? <laughs> well, you, you could hear the clanging. That was hitting the gong that's up there. So I knew I was going under it. I fired, oh, probably good, maybe almost two feet above that bottle, put it right in line with it, and that's when I hit it. So... Like I said, at 50 yards, it's not too bad when you don't have any CO2 left in her. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of planking.